Good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. So tell me, what is this app? What does it help to monitor? Just give me a rundown of, of what you're talking about. Yeah, absolutely. I always love talking about what we do and how we can help. Um, so as you mentioned, we are with Rune Labs and we're a brain data company. And simply what that means is we're looking at harnessing brain data through wearables such as the Apple Watch. And as you mentioned, we're talking about Parkinson's and that is our first um, application, disease application that we are looking at. And what we have done is built um, Leverage the Movement Disorder API on uh, the Apple Watch. It's an application already on the Apple Watch, the Movement Disorder um, application. And we have built a proprietary algorithm on top of that to detect tremor and dyskinesia. So mm -hmm. tremor is one of the primary symptoms of Parkinson's disease, dyskinesia a byproduct of you know, um, the medications that are being prescribed. And oftentimes it's very difficult to actually detect, you know, or really understand the difference between those two. Um, I speak from experience. My mom has had Parkinson's for almost 24 years um, that we've been managing this with her. My brother and I are her primary caregivers now. And, you know, we just have these sort of anecdotal conversations with her neurologist about her symptoms. And then based on that, we are prescribed medication. But with Parkinson's, it's really about understanding how the tremor is happening, how the dyskinesia is happening, and then titrating the medication accordingly in terms of how often you take it, what the what the strength of the medication is. And so what Strive PD does is actually detects the tremor and dyskinesia through the Apple Watch and then outputs it onto an app um, on the iPhone. So we are in, in an Apple ecosystem. Anyone can download the app for free. It's called Strive PD in the App Store. And as long as you're wearing the Apple Watch and pair it with your phone, you can basically sync um, and get data and see um, a graphical output on your phone in the app of your tremor and dyskinesia over time. So it can be a day, okay. a week, or months. And so when you go into the doctor's office, you can actually have a very informed decision about when your tremor is happening, when okay. your dyskinesia is happening, and you know how you need medication to adjust that. Well, I love that you're pairing it with devices that are already out there and that people already own. They don't have to buy something in addition to it, which you can tell me in a second if the app costs money. But really, this is for somebody who um, already has Parkinson's, already has the diagnosis, and to better help them track it, which I'm also surprised there isn't already something out there like this. Yeah, you would be surprised, right? And I think this is the whole premise of digital health. This is the space um, in which we work in. It's really getting a better sense of what's happening to you as an individual with uh -huh. your disease outside of the doctor's office. And there are devices that exist out there, but they are like clunky medical devices used for like clinical trial purposes or like in office sort of testing, right? The beauty of what we've done and sort of our biggest differentiator is that it's done on the Apple Watch, right? This is a consumer device that anyone can go out and buy and you just asked me a minute ago about the cost yeah. of strive pd strive pd is free as long as you have an apple watch and your iphone you can just go to the app store and download the app for free okay but right now you're mainly for apple watch users are you planning to expand to any other type devices Currently, we are focused on the Apple ecosystem. It takes quite a bit um, for, you know, to, to build onto the Android as an example. And so we want to make sure that we sort of hone in and really refine the product. And then we will maybe in future years think about expanding it to other systems. Yeah. And then so let's go dive into something specific. Like give me an example of some time when a patient might have been using this and then taken it to their clinician. And I know you mentioned maybe you want to adjust drugs, but what would some other benefits be to having this information at the palm of your hand and then having a conversation to, with your doctor? Yeah, there's of course, medication is one of the primary um ways to control your symptoms, right? But this is a neurodegenerative disease. There is no cure. And so it's really all about management. And so when you look at some of you have some of these things that are coming up um, on the screen here, right? You can actually track um, through the Apple Watch. The Apple Watch is tracking things like sleep and heart rate. It's also tracking things like exercise, all of which are output onto the app on the iPhone. So you can actually look at how different factors of your lifestyle are also impacting Parkinson's disease. Ah, just like we've been able to do with so many other aspects of our health. So uh, very interesting that now there's an app for people with Parkinson's. Uh, Swati, before I let you go, is there anything else that you'd like to mention? 
No, I just really appreciate the time. I'm grateful that we have a Parkinson's Awareness Month and that, you know, folks are really taking the time to learn more about it. I think, um, you know, only recently have I realized, you know, after sort of living with uh, my mom uh, with Parkinson's for the last 24 years, it is the second largest growing neurodegenerative disease um, in the world. And so I think there is a lot of effort and movement um, towards helping not just, um, you know, uh, manage the disease, but ultimately find a cure and prevent it. Yeah, wow, that's some new information for me too. I didn't realize that. So thank you for coming on and sharing that. I know it's important for this Awareness Month and uh, Strive PD is the name of the app and it's totally free. Absolutely, please download it. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too.